All right, folks, it's Die Castle Play here again, and welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003 Season Mode. Here we are. It's time for the Samsung Radio Shack 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. Race 4 out of 36. Yes, race 4. Uh, the Texas Spring Race has been moved up from 2003. Um, it's going to be moved up a few races, so now it's the fourth race of the season, and one of the last races of the season as well. So, here's an early season recap. Sterling Marlin wins his second consecutive Daytona 500. Dale Jr. strikes early in Vegas. Dale Jarrett wins the inaugural Rockingham Night Race. And here is your upcoming schedule. We're going to be in Fort Worth, Texas. They're going to be going to Avondale, Arizona, and then Bristol, Tennessee. So an interesting array of tracks here. A one and a half mile speedway, one mile speedway, or uh, oversized short track, if you will. And then, of course, Bristol, which is going to be a knockdown drag out event. So that's going to be fun. Your point standings. We are 22nd in points after some I, I, a disappointing 500 and a disappoint, I, awful day in Las Vegas, I might add. Um, we got one pole, which we won the pole at Richmond. Or at Richmond, excuse me, Rockingham. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get our paint scheme set. So we're just going to run the normal Sitco colors here in Texas. Let's go ahead and go racing. All right, folks, so we qualified on our second consecutive pole, pole number two of 2004. We're starting up front in the Samsung Radio Shack 500 here in Fort Worth, Texas. We have yet to win the spring Texas race in this playthrough, but we did win the fall one. Let's go trackside for some Texas-style NASCAR racing. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas, and today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Samsung Radio Shack 500. Tell us about this track. Texas is a very tough racetrack for these drivers to get the hang of. It's very fast, but it has a very tight groove. Some of these cars may add some paint to the walls here before the race is over. Jeff Burton has been working hard at qualifying all season, and it's really showing. Man, is it paying off for those guys. Seems like each and every week that car is starting in the top ten. Todd Bodine has not had the finishes he's hoped for in the past couple races. He definitely needs a good finish, not just for himself, but for the team, his sponsors, and everyone else involved with that team. Al Petty is having some trouble in the points this year. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Here we go, guys. We're on the pole with Jimmy Johnson. Whew. I want to win this race, man. I really do. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the old Texas Motor Speedway. I want to win this thing, man. I want to. We've had some bad luck here. We really have some bad luck in the spring race. It's just not been good to us, but we need points, man. We need points. We had a pretty fast qualifying lap. I mean, just trying to three tenths faster than Jimmy Johnson. You can do this, man. And you got Jeff Hervis, Elliot Sadler, Ward Burton, uh, Pete Cook. I mean, you got some young cats up there. Not Cook Ward, but you got some guys who are generally up there, or not up there, in contention. So, here we go. A green flag. 500 mile race to set up. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but we focused on tire wear. That is what we focused on for this setup. I want to make sure we're good in the second half of the race when our tires are warm. As usual, we get a pretty slow restart. That is okay. Let's see how the race car handles when we're back up to speed. Texas, man, it is a scrappy racetrack. You really got to earn it. You really have to. Three and four is going to be our golden nugget, so to speak. That is really where we kind of shine here. Uh, the AI tends to slow up a little bit. We're able to get a decent run. One and two. It's so tricky going in here too wide because if you get on the gas when you hit the tunnel with the little bump there, your car's going to jump a lane. When it jumps a lane, you're going to go straight into the door or the fence. you got to be extremely careful going in there too wide. 
three and four, it's so much easier. I mean, you can practically full throttle it almost because you get such a wide arc. It's not like Charlotte, but it's a sharp cut. It's a pretty graceful cut out of three and four. Meanwhile, Dale Jarrett's going to be taking the lead around Jimmy Johnson as the car just snaps to the outside lane. A little bit of contact. Oh, Jimmy's in the wall. Oh, my God. Yes. And the Texas bad luck continues. Huge wreck here at Texas Motor Speedway. Oh, my God. What a wreck. Johnson is done. Oh, my Lord. Awful disaster here at Texas. And that's what I was talking about, folks. This is just a bad luck track. I'm going to go ahead and get off the racing surface and uh, uh, not put any fluid down. Wow. This is exactly what we don't need. And this is NASCAR Winston Cup racing, folks. This is what happens. You go out here, you have a good car, um, and just it just turns to crap. So all we can do is just repair it and just try to get a top 30, man. What a wreck, man. What a wreck. I, I, I don't even know what really happened there. So I, I, got, I was going through the trival, right? And the car just like snapped to the outside lane. So I was trying to catch it. And I had a pretty good amount of, of momentum going in the corner. Here's Jimmy Johnson's Monte Carlo. And I'm sitting there riding the back bumper. And his car gets loose. Like, I, I just straight up hit his car, take the air off the back end. He gets really loose. He has to check up. I'm all over him. He gets loose. He gets turned in the fence. I crash into him. I'm getting run over from behind. Let's get a replay, man. Let's get a replay. So, I mean, just, I was, I was trying not to run him over, but I just took all the air off the back end of his car, and there was nowhere to go, man. I mean, there was nowhere to go, and I just, I hate it for Johnson. He was having such a good run and a big crash at Texas Motor Speedway, collecting more Burton, uh, a rookie, a uh, crazy crazy amount. You know, I'm going to see if we can pit and maybe fix the car even more. I wonder if you can do that. If you pit again, would it allow you to kind of straighten out the back end of the car? Let's try that, guys. Let's try that. I want to see if we can get the back end a little bit more straightened out. I wonder if that works. The more you pit, the better your car looks. Who knows? Um, I really don't know what we can do to fix this car, man. I'm going to try to adjust the tire pressure. See if we can get a higher acceleration because we're going to be down on speed. Our straight line speed is going to be killed because we're not going to have downforce in the back of this car. We're going to have a lot of drag. That's going to affect our aerodynamics, which is, of course, going to have, just affect our overall lap speed. So I'm going to see if there's anything we can do to try to maybe, maybe get this car in a little bit better shape. I don't know why I'm putting tires on. I shouldn't have done that. But, hey, I'll take the best Goodyears I can get. No, it didn't look like it didn't help any, but that's okay. Here we go. Green flag at Texas Motor Speedway. A huge accident. I am extremely happy to see Johnson back on the racetrack, though. That was a terrible accident for the young cup driver. Well, let's get a top five update here in Fort Worth. It's going to be Dale Jarrett, Jeff Purvis, Greg Biffle, Elliot Sadler, and Bobby Hamilton leading the Samsung Radio Shack 500 from Texas Motor Speedway. We're at 42nd place right now. I have no clue how we're going to handle, man. This is going to be a terrible race. I mean, right now, we're out of the contention for the win. What we're going to have to do, guys, is we're going to have to hope for some debris cautions. If we can, if these cats pit in like five laps and we catch like an amazing debris caution, we might get back into this. I mean, we are easily a 10 miles per hour difference into the corner. And that's the aerodynamics. We just don't have the downforce. We don't have the speed. And it's it's honestly a shame. So I might cut ahead through, the, through this video. I'm not sure. Oh, man. This is very unfortunate, man. Yeah, I mean, we, we were running 184, 190 into 1 and 2. And as you can see, we're, we are definitely down on speed. Oh, we're, we're, oh, there's the caution right there. Oh, goodness, keep it out of the fence. Okay. Tell you what, let's save as much... Oh, wait, wait, what what, what the heck's happening here? Oh, someone's out of gas. Is it the 41? Looks like the 41 might be out of gas. Meanwhile, I'm going to go around these guys. You know, I'm going to stay off the throttle and putt-putt through three and four. We're going to save as much fuel as you can. We're going to save as much gas. Save as much gas. I should have pitted there. Maybe we would cycle out front. We're going to coast across the line. There we go. Try to save as much gas as possible. 
in case we need to stretch this fuel mileage. It's going to be Warren Burton. Oh my goodness, his dive just got punched in the nose pretty bad there. Hood's going to fly off. Now, do we pit now, guys? I do think we're going to be outside our fuel window. You know what, guys? Let's not pit. Let's gamble. Let's go for it. There's going to be more debris cautions, I think. Let's go for it. They're staying out? Okay, we're staying out. I'm going for it, man. Yes, we're gonna be we're gonna need some luck on our side, but guess what? I'm going for it. So everyone's gonna have to pit, right? So you know what that means? I am saving fuel right now. That's our gamble. Save fuel. We're gonna try to steal this win. I'm gonna let all these guys go, and we're gonna save fuel. This could be a disaster idea, or it could be an amazing idea. I'm, I'm going to throw away what could be a top 30 finish to see if we can gamble. Oh, sorry, Kyle Petty. See if we can gamble and possibly steal a, a win here. I'm going to try to stretch it, man. I'm going to try to stretch this fuel. I'm going to try to stretch it as much as I can. We gotta save as much as we can, but we gotta maintain a certain speed as well. That's the problem. We're gonna need a caution. That's the key, is that we're gonna need one caution for this to work. Because right now we should be pitting. We're at half a tank. We probably run out. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a, we're gonna need a lot of cautions, man. Do we just pit now and cut our losses? I don't know, man. I'm going to stay out and try to gamble. I'm, I really do think we've we got to try something different to win this race. I mean, halfway on a fuel run would be eight laps from now. So lap 24, 25. That's still a lot of that. We ain't, we ain't going to be able to make it, guys. Ugh, I want to try a gamble. I don't think we'll be able to, man. We're going to have to bring it down pit row. We're not going to be able to make that much time. I... I thought we could, but you know what? Whatever. We're just going to do a gas and go. We're just going to gas and go it, man. Hopefully we can get a quick pit stop. Get back out there. There we go. Gas and go 4.5. We didn't even take a, fuel a full tank. Dang it, I should have took the full tank. I figured if we would have took the fuel, a full tank of gas, it was actually going to uh, take a long pit stop. I didn't know it was actually going to register, you know, just, just you know, half a tank or whatnot. Okay, so this sucks. We didn't take as much gas as we needed, but we got a little bit. Oh well, I'm just going to go for it. back out of the corner there, man. The car just wants to pull to the wall and it's just really bad. really loose down there on the apron. The car's actually got a little bit of speed left in it, guys. Surprisingly enough. Maybe we should have just took the full tank of gas. Who knows, maybe a caution will come out and we can kind of, you know, play it from there. That'd be nice to see a, a debris caution right now. But generally, when you get these big wrecks, you get, you know, a few debris cautions, but who knows. We're up to 27th. That's a good thing. 
car's gonna be very, very bad on tires, though. We tried to repair this Ford as best as we could. Oh, Harvick way down low. It's just, it's just been a bad race, man. It's just been a bad race. 13 laps still to go in this 500-mile event. Halfway on fuel as we just got really slapped tight and loose there at the same time. A little bit of contact. Oh, got some squealers in the back. I don't know what happened there. Heard some tires getting squealing. We are just getting past, man. So many cars just going around us. 29th, man. And we don't have enough gas. So, if we don't get a caution, we're screwed. Yeah, we are falling to the back. We just don't have the speed. We're going to have to pit for gas. You know, I tried to gamble, and I started thinking about it and calculating the numbers as we're about to crash there. We just don't have enough uh, you know, fuel to be able to, to stretch it to the end, so to speak. So, oh, goodness. Oh, oh, what the heck? Okay. 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 Sorry, rookie guy. Sorry. Yeah, so this is going to be another dismal finish, man. What they're pitting? What? Interesting. The leader is pitting. Well, who's the leader? Oh, it's Spencer. Okay. That's interesting. So Spencer, I guess, pit, uh, pitted maybe during the caution sequence? Who knows? I have no clue. Maybe he pitted. I know he, he ran a gas somewhere, so maybe that's why he stayed out so long. I don't know. I do think Jeff Gordon and company are going to be good, but we got two Rapsketeers in the top five. Shame we're not up there with them. Having some tough luck here in Texas, and we're going to have to make our pit stop at, I would say, probably within three and a half laps, or about after three and a half laps, rather, because we just don't have the fuel, man, and this is a, a really disappointing way to finish the Texas race here um, in the springtime at 04. You know, I really wanted to win... A spring Texas race, and it's just not going to be our, you know, our race. It happens, you know. It's just like Vegas, man. You know, it, it just it happens. We haven't started this season off to a good start. You know, we're definitely we're definitely lacking uh, speed in some of these tracks. We really should have. But to be honest with you, we just got to execute better, man. We just got to execute. We got to take care of our car. We got some good tracks coming up, though. We got some good tracks. We got Richmond. We got Talladega. We got we got some good tracks coming up. Um, last year, our first win came at Auto Club, right? So we had we're going to be going back to Auto Club in a few, you know, probably about a month or so. So I mean, 
we got some good tracks coming up. I'm excited. Very low fuel. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring it down pit road. I'm not going to worry about it because we're going to finish dead last pretty much no matter what. So let's just go down pit road, get a gas and go and uh, uh, bring it on home. Just a bad day, man. Just a bad day. It happens, you know. Let's just get enough to get to the end of this race. It sucks, you know. We had a good run going. And, I, again, I don't know really what happened, but the car just jumped out in the trival earlier in the race. I had I had to catch the car. I had such a, a large amount of momentum. I, I guess I ran up on Johnson when he slowed down the corner. Took the air off his car. He kept getting super loose and just locked up on my bumper. And... I'm trying to, you know, not wreck, but I actually wrecked him, on, you know, not intentionally, of course. And he went in the fence. So, I mean, it was a very unfortunate term of events. Get out of the way. Let them go by. Jarrett and Gordon. Looks like Gordon's going to get the Texas win. But, yeah, it, it sucks, man. You know, you, you, you go out here and you try to win these races and something happens. But, you know what? Next week, we're going to be going to Phoenix. We're going to have some uh, good racing there. Try to enjoy that one and see if we can get a W. We ran pretty good there last year. We'll let Martin and company go by. Oh, I thought I was going to. Sorry. Car got super loose. I'm going to get out of the gas and let these guys go by. Let Kurt go by too. Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. Kenseth blows an engine on the last corner. Oh, my God. Kenseth blows an engine on the last corner. Why would he stop? I would be flooring that thing to the finish line. Oh my goodness. Kenseth blows the engine in the last corner. Jeff Gordon wins here at Texas. Just what? Dale Jarrett got by him. Wow. Dale Jarrett got by Jeff Gordon. Wow. That was a uh, very unfortunate race. We lost even more points. Yeah, a dismal last place finish for us. This is just not been our season so far we got to turn it around at one of these tracks and i think we will it's just you know some bad luck but del jerick's gonna get a second win of 2004 gordon loses it right at the end but del jerick the dominant car stroll him on mark martin and tony stewart get the top five but where did oh kenzie finish because he blew up on the last lap last corner i might add he jumps from a top five finish to 35th, so he loses 30 spots in one corner. Amazing. And that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Diecast Buffet for more NASCAR content. I'll see you all in the next video at Phoenix. Diecast Buffet, signing off.